In this video, we shall find the integral of a given function by using Simpson's one-third rule. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Evaluate integral within the limit 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta into d theta. Evaluate integral within the limits 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta into d theta by using Simpson's one third rule dividing the interval into 8 equal parts. That means the value of n is equal to 8. Solution. Let f of theta is equal to square root of cos theta. In the previous cases, we have considered as f of x. Since here they have given a theta, we have considered as let f of theta is equal to and that function as square root of cos theta. Now, what are the values of n, a and b? n is equal to 8. That is, you need to divide the interval into 8 equal parts and b is equal to what upper limit that is pi by 2 and a is equal to lower limit that is 0. So we can write n is equal to 8, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to pi by 2. Now we need to calculate the value of h and that is given by the formula h is equal to b minus a divided by n is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 divided by 8. Pi by 2 minus 0 will be pi by 2. Pi by 2 divided by 8 will be equal to pi by 16 because the denominator will come below. So, 8 into 2 will be 16. Therefore, it will be pi by 16. And don't write pi as 3.142. Write it pi itself. Now, prepare a table consisting of theta and f of theta values. So, first value of an theta should be a lower limit and that is 0. And next value of theta will be what? Theta plus h. Theta is 0, h is pi by 6, 16. So, 0 plus pi by 16 will be equal to pi by 16. The next value of theta will be pi by 16 plus h. So, pi by 16 plus pi by 16 it will be 2 pi by 16. Even, even you can simplify it and write it as pi by 8 also because 2 ones are 2, 8s are 16. Don't uh, simplify it, write it as it is or else you can simplify and write it also. You get the same answer. Then next, uh, next theta value is 2 pi by 16 plus pi by 16. It will be 3 pi by 16. The next 3 pi by 16 divided by 6, uh, 3 pi by 16 plus pi by 16 will be 4 pi by 16. Next will be 5 pi by 16. Next will be 6 pi by 16. And the next one will be 7 pi by 16. And the next one will be 8 pi by 16. So 8 pi by 16 is nothing but 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16. That is pi by 2. So pi by 2 in the sense what? Upper limit. It means we have started with a lower limit with the value of h as pi by 16. We have came to an upper limit. Right? So write it as it is only how I have written in this particular table. Similarly, in the same way, write it. It will be easier for the purpose of calculation. The next, we need to calculate f of theta. So first one, when theta is 0. So f of 0 will be square root of cos 0. So square root of cos 0 is equal to 1. The next f of pi by 16 will be equal to square root of cos of pi by 16 and that answer is equal to 0 0.9999. Here I have not rounded off to 4 significant digits, just have written 4 digits. In this particular problem, write the 4 digit as it is which you get after the decimal point. Just leave or discard the digit after fifth, after fourth, whatever the fifth, sixth and digits you get, discard them without doing any 
rounding off. Just write four significant digit after the decimal point without doing any rounding off. The next one, f of 2 pi by 16, that is square root of cos of 2 pi by 16 and that is is equal to 0 0.49. The next 3 by 16, 3 pi by 16 will be 0 0.9999, that is f of 3 pi by 16. The next for 4 pi by 16, that is f of 4 pi by 16 is equal to 0 0.49. The next f of 5 pi by 16, 0 0.49. f of 6 pi by 16 is 0 0.398. 3 nines after that 8. The next f of 7 pi by 16 is equal to 0 0.398. Then f of 8 pi by 16 is equal to 0 0.398. So, all these values I have written without doing rounding off. It means I have not applied rounding off. By Simpson's one third rule, we know that integral x naught to x naught plus nh f of x is here f of theta into d theta integral x naught to x naught plus n h f of theta into d theta is equal to h by 3 into first term plus last term y naught plus y n plus 4 into sum of odd terms y1 plus y3 plus y5 etc up to y n minus 1 plus 2 into sum of even terms 2 into y2 plus y4 plus y6 etc up to plus y n minus 2. Now, what are the values of y naught, y1, y2, y n minus 1, y n minus 2, y n from where we get these values? We These values we get from the tabulated value just which we have calculated for theta and f of theta. So now, theta and f of theta values which has been represented here in the above table. From that one, y1 is, y0 is 1, y1 is 0 0.49, y2 is 0 0.49, y3 is 0 0.49, y4 is 0 0.49, y5 is 0 0.49, y6 is 0 0.398, y7 is 0 0.398, and y8 is 0 0.398. So y8 is yn that is the last term. And yn minus 1 is what? The previous of a last term that is y7. And yn minus 2 is the last but 1 that is n minus 2. Previous before that the second term that means n minus 2. n is 8. 8 minus 2 that means y6. Right, so y6 is yn minus 2. Now, replace the values of y0, y1, y2, etc. up to yn and h value in the above formula and f of theta by square root of cos theta and dx by d theta. We get integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta into d theta is equal to h is pi divided by 16 whole divided by 3 because h by 3 in the place of h pi by 16 plus first term plus last term 1 plus 0 0.398 plus 4 into y1 is 0 0.49 plus y3 is 0. 4 nines plus y5 is 0 0.49 plus y7 is 0 0.398 plus 2 into y2, y4 and y6 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 and y6 is 0 0.398 and y8 you should not write because it is a last term and that we have already written as yn that is 0 0.398. So, upon substituting the values which we have 
calculated and stored in a table. We get this one. After this, we need to simplify this one by using an calculator. In the calculator, you can write open the bracket pi divided by 48 because 16 into 3 will be 48 into open the bracket, open the bracket 1 plus 0 0.398 close the bracket plus 4 into 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.398 close the bracket plus 2 into 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49 plus 0 0.398 Close the bracket, again close the bracket and it will give an answer, another answer integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta d theta is equal to 1.5706. This one I have written after rounding off to 4 significant digit after the decimal point. Integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta d theta is equal to 1.5706 which we have calculated by using Simpson's one third rule. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world.